Today I'm going to take you through the vast painting process that I use to paint a Moran and Orc from the Lord of the Rings strategy battle game. I blocked in the colours then applied a wash. At this point the model is ready at a base tabletop level. I do apply highlights later in the video but this step is totally optional but really adds to the model. Hello and welcome to War Games and Painting. My name is Paul. For today's process I will be using contrast paints from Games Workshop as my base colours and a combination of other GW, Army Painter and Vallejo paints for the highlights. I first prime the miniature using Wraithbone Primer from Games Workshop. This primer gives a nice and bright foundation for contrast paints. The first colour I used was Snakebite Leather Contrast Paint. This is one of my favourite colours for creating a light leather look. For this step I used another contrast paint, Black Templar, for the base colour for the main armour, which will be dry brushed with metallic silver in a later step. Wildwood contrast paint is used for the wooden part of his spear. This is a great colour for any dark wooden parts. I also use this for the hair. If you're enjoying the video so far, Please remember to like, share and subscribe. For his orky flesh I used a base colour of Plague Bearer Flesh contrast paint. This will look very light once it's dried but a green wash will be applied and add some really effective shadowing in a later step. I applied a coat of Ironbreaker layer paint from Games Workshop to the metal parts of his spear. I also used Agros Dunes contrast paint for the fur around his neck. As you can see, Adding a wash of Biao Tang Green from GW really adds some effective shading for the orc flesh. Be careful not to let the wash pull too much in the recesses. Now add a wash of Agrax Earthshade. I used this straight from the pot. This will darken down all of the block colours and add some dark recess shading. Be careful not to add this wash to the orc skin and watch for pooling. I like using Rhinox Hide Base Paint from Games Workshop as a brown base colour for my bases. This is my personal preference for my Lord of the Rings models, but feel free to use whichever colour you like. At this point the model is tabletop ready apart from the basin, but now the highlights are going to be added to really improve the look of the Orc Warrior. Now it's back to the iron breaker layer paint to add a light dry brush to the black armour and the metal parts of the spear. This will add nice metallic highlights to the edges of the armour and the weapon. Add a small amount of paint to your brush and then run the brush over some kitchen paper to remove the majority of the paint. 
Then lightly dry brush the black armor and the spear, being very careful not to get the paint on any of the other colors. Do not use one of your good brushes for this, as dry brushing will totally ruin the bristles, as you can see from my well used dry brush. For highlighting the snake bite leather base color, I like to use the XV88 base paint from Games Workshop. Just add it to the upper areas and the edges to add a lighter effect to the leather. For the fur around his neck, I added small highlights to the edges using Screaming Skull layer paint. Scarsnick Green is used to add a light highlight to the raised edges of the Orc Warrior's face and hands. Areas like the cheeks, forehead, nose and fingers. Anywhere you feel the skin would look lighter. Morfang Brown from Games Workshop is a great colour to highlight his hair and the edge of the wooden part of the spear. For the base, I started adding a layer of Sterland Mud texture paste from Games Workshop. I used the texture spreader tool from GW for this. This paste will ruin any brush you use. While the Sterling mud was still wet, I added some battlefield rocks from Army Painter. These are just tiny pieces of cork which I pressed into the wet paste. The rocks were then painted with a layer of uniform grey from Army Painter, but any light grey paint could be used for this process. I then added a layer of wash using null oil from Games Workshop. This was applied directly from the pot and adds a dark shade to the rocks in preparation for the highlighting step. dry brush was added to the rocks using uniform grey from Army Painter. This really makes the rocks pop and is a good complement to the dark wash that was applied in the previous step. Now for one of my favourite parts of the basing process, add in the grassy flop. I used a slightly watered down PVA glue applied to small random areas of the base. Then small amounts of flock was applied. I used a mix of light green and brown basing materials. I used the swamp turf from Army Painter to add more interest to the base. Just use super glue to fix them down. There are many colours of tufts available plus many types of foliage. I did add two spots of Evil Sun Scarlet for his eyes. Now this Moran and Orc is ready to join the dark forces of Middle Earth. I really hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.